Time is now 6.36. Hammer is an organization that helps adults with developmental disabilities live life to the fullest. And for different people, that means different things. As Raina Sarginopoulos shows us, for one young woman, it meant channeling her inner poet. I'd like to write about parking parking meters that pay themselves. Lisa Poppy decided one day she'd like to be a beatnik poet. I think this is a great start, um, but I think that it could be even longer. There's a path, however, to every destination, and Lisa's started with a poetry class like at the Loft. They taught me poetry stuff and then how to write short stories. The staff at Hammer recognized Lisa's passion, although they say it wasn't too hard to figure out. Well, Lisa is a woman with many, many dreams, and she never hesitates to tell us about what, what's next on the list. They took her to classes, helped her with homework, and set up a night where her dream could come true. It is my deep pleasure to introduce our beat poet, Miss Lisa Poppy. <laughs> Dressed all in black, accompanied by the bongos, Lisa lived in the moment. The Midnight Moon by Lisa Poppy. The crowd at the bookcase in Wyzetta was digging her vibe. When I ask you a question, I wish you could give me some replies. And Lisa was digging the spotlight. They said to me... Good job, Lisa. Good job. One more thing to check off of life's to-do list. And Lisa knows it would never have happened without the people that make up Hammer. Without them, no opportunity. I just live, live at my mom's house, and that's boring. You can't use words like boring around Lisa Poppy. I told her I was going to be her agent now, and she could book all the readings through me. <laughs> Except Lisa has already moved on to her next dream, to become a published author. On the midnight moon, Rena Sargenopoulos. In the darkness of night. Care 11 News. Well, to help Hammer make other dreams come true for adults with disabilities, you can join them for a special event. It's July 30th. It's called Art Cetera. It's a unique gallery event with food, music, silent auction items, and much more. Again, Thursday, July 20th, or 30th, I should say, starting at 6 p.m. at Art Holdings in St. Louis Park. For more information and a link for tickets, head to carolovin.com and look on the Sunrise page there, which is underneath.